Coast Guard's top admiral faced some tough questions on Capitol Hill. Last month, Linda Fagan took over as the branch's 27th and first woman commandant. Mike Gooding tells us lawmakers wanted to know what her branch is doing to improve diversity. As commandant of the United States Coast Guard, I'm humbled to have the responsibility for operating and advocating for this incredible service. The Coast Guard's new leader appeared before the House Homeland Security Committee to lay out her vision. The panel's chairperson wanted to know what the Coast Guard's first woman commandant is going to do to improve upon diversity. Representative Bonnie Watson Coleman pointed out that only 6% of the Coast Guard's 41,000 member active duty force is black and only 15% are women. I'm particularly concerned that diversity decreases with rank leaving little opportunity for women and minorities at the top. The heartbeat of the Coast Guard is our workforce, and without them, we cannot execute our missions. Admiral Linda Fagan pledged the Coast Guard will redouble its efforts to be more inclusive. We will recruit people from across our great nation who are service-oriented and have a high sense of purpose. Our leaders will provide an increasingly diverse workforce, a strong sense of belonging, so every individual is valued safe and able to deliver their best service to the nation. Last week, the Coast Guard Academy class of 2026 arrived with the largest group of women in an incoming class in Academy history, with 43 percent of the incoming students being women. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. Admiral Fagan also spoke about the Arctic and the need to create enduring presence in that part of the world to compete with Russia and China. She said we need to get that capability as soon as possible. 